Hello everyone, this is Ria Banerjee and today I am with a very special class. Um, this is a requested video by few students. I have got several requests to solve the quest buzz of the chapter 20 from class 6 Rachna Sagar book. So, let's solve the find facts one by one and then we will continue with the question answers and the true false. Okay, so let's start. So, on the basis of your understanding of the story, complete these sentences. That's the first question. Dwani was left in her grandmother's care because Dwani was left in her grandmother's care because her parents left her and moved to the city. Okay. So, I'm repeating the answer. Her parents left her and moved to the city. Second question. Grandmother showed her love for Dwani by singing with her teaching her and taking care of her so by singing with her teaching her and taking care of her next question that is she took care of her for dash before she dashed so she took care of her for seven years before she left for the heavenly abode so, she means the grandmother, the grandmother took care of Dwani for seven years before she, um, she left her, she left Dwani for her heavenly abode. Okay, next question is that Dwani had to leave the village because Dwani had to leave the village because her grandmother died and her parents wanted to go to the city. Or you can also write it in a different way. Dwani had to leave the village because her grandmother died and her parents wanted her to go to the city. Okay. Next question. Dwani was unhappy in the city because. So why was Dwani unhappy in the city? So let's uh, write it down. So Dwani was unhappy in the city because she was missing her grandmother, she was missing her animal friends, she was not able to enjoy the beauty of nature uh, which was supposed to be in the village but she has to listen to the cacophony of the vehicles or the loud noises of the vehicles. Okay, So she was unhappy in the city. Now, there are few inner questions and there are some questions which are here. First, I will solve the questions from the book and then I will give some inner questions. Okay. Answer the following questions. What was Dwani supposed to do at the landlord's house? So, Dwani was supposed to sing every morning and every evening in the courtyard. And in return, she was supposed to live in the beautiful house of the landlord. So, what was Dwani supposed to do at the landlord's house? Dwani was supposed to sing every morning and every evening in the courtyard and in return, she has to live there in the beautiful house of the landlord. Second question, what did the coel tell Dwani? The coel told Dwani that she was once caged by the landlord and also she was supposed to sing in the courtyard. So, she told how she played a trick on the landlord and got her freedom. Okay. Now, different question can also come. What was an eye opener for Dwani? Okay. So, these are all interrelated questions. Next, how did Dwani win her freedom? So, Dwani got her freedom when she sang a very sad song of the coel and which was caged for her landlord okay the landlord realized his mistake after listening to the song and let dwani go okay so in this way dwani won her freedom so students now let's solve some inner questions so i'm just going to give you the questions and listen to me and write it down the first question why were dwani's parents strangers for her Dwani's parents were strangers for her because her parents left her in her grandmother's care when she was an infant. So again I am telling you the answer. Dwani's parents were strangers for her because her parents left her in her grandmother's care when she was an infant. 
second question in a question who were dhwani's friends dhwani's friends were the animals the birds fields and hills <coughs> okay <coughs> Next question is what kind of music does the city sing? So the city sings cacophony. Again the question is what kind of music does the city sing? The city sings cacophony. Next question what was the trick played by the quail? The quail practiced hard to imitate the crow and finally she succeeded. One day the quail sang a very unpleasant song of a crow. okay and started cawing the landlord was very angry after listening to the quail so he opened the cage and the quail flew away okay in this way the quail got its freedom what was an eye opener for dhwani listening to the quail story was an eye opener for dhwani okay students now let's solve the question answers the third question from here say whether the statement is true or false dhwani was an orphan true or false well the answer is false dhwani was not an orphan dhwani's grandmother loved her more than her parents ever did that is true the grandmother had to live for another place so dhwani went to the city no this is false her grandmother died Dwani found the city to be very attractive place false the quail taught dwani a wonderful lesson about life very good it's true answer <coughs> dwani decided to teach the landlord a good lesson in a nice manner true dwan uh, the landlord was pleaded and realized his mistake when he listened to dwani's sad song this is once again true in the end dwani and the quail sang for the landlord every day well no this is false so students that's all from the chapter dhwani page number 125 from rachna sagar 6 book if you have any more queries you can request me in the comment section and i will upload the video for you thank you